Welcome to our Network 1 class, Introduction to Network, Module 3, Communicating Networks. So, I'm your instructor, Dennis Takadena. Let's start. So, under Chapter 8, our discussion will be Network Layer. So, before that, we discuss the Module Objectives. Okay. First, explain how the network layer uses IP protocols for reliable communications. Explain the role of major header fields in I both IPv4 and IPv6 packet. Explain how network device use routing tables to direct packets to a destination network. And lastly, explain the functional of fields in the routing table of a router. Okay. Chapter 8, Network Layer Characteristics. Under Network Layer, as you can see on our OSI model, Layer model, we are on net Layer 3. Layer 3 handles the IP version 4 and IP version 6. If we are referring to the TCP IP model, we that is Internet Layer. Okay. That's the equivalent of network layer of OSI. So what are the basic operations of this layer? One is addressing end devices because we are putting here the source and destination IP address. Encapsulation wherein we are uh, encapsulating the segment from data segment then packet downwards to uh, frame. Okay. That's the purpose encapsulation. Routing because we are using the IPv4 source and IP address to uh, transmit the packet. So the router is using the uh, this packet through encapsulation. It will look for the destination of this packet. Okay, the encapsulation process wherein if a recipient. Uh, Intermediary devices, example, receive that packet. Uh, it will look for the destination packet and it will be passed on to the next port or the next hub router of that uh, uh, source router. Okay. Well, what is IP encapsulation? Or well, IP encapsulates transport layer segment. This is segment wherein this is a layer. Uh, for for application if you're using TCP or under the OSI the pre, uh, application presentation session okay then it will uh, re-encapsulates or encapsulates into segment header where the, the, we have here the TCP and IP then that uh, header or this two will combine to add another IP header here. Okay, that's the process of encapsulation. Then downwards on your uh, data link, you will be adding the frame. Uh, stop frame and start frame and stop frame. Okay. Uh, IP packet will examine all layer 3 devices that is traverse network. Uh, the uh, IP address does not change the source to destination unlike the frame we are uh, uh, changing the destination frame based from the next hub on network address translation will change addressing but will be discussed later because the tra uh, network address translation we are uh, changing the uh, IP address based on a public address okay? or it will become a port address Okay, characteristics of IP, where if we are mean, meant for IP, it is meant to have low overhead and may be described as one, connectionless, best effort, and media independent. If we are talking about connectionless, IP does not establish a connection with destination before sending the packet. So there's no need for uh, uh, establishment because that is the job of the TCP under the three-way handshake. It's been escalated to transport layer. So there is no control needed. Okay. 
the destination will receive the packet when it arrives but no pre notification are sent by ip and if there is a need for connection oriented traffic that is the job of the transport layer that another protocol will be handled this okay that will be the tcp Oh, best effort. What do you mean about best effort? IP will not guarantee delivery of packet because packet has a also a life uh, that will be under the time to live or TTL. Uh, maximum of that is 255 for as long as the packet move from router to router or other intermediary devices. The TTL will be reduced to one. So until the packet becomes zero or the TTL packet zero, then the time that the packet has been died okay ip has reduced overhead since is no mechanism to resend data and not receive oh, ip does not expect acknowledgement because this is the job of the tcp ip does not know if the other device is operational or it it receives the packet okay because the acknowledgement is the job of the transport layer Media independent, so whatever, for as long as the uh, sender send a packet to a receiver or the recipient of that message, so it does not care about what media you are using. If you are referring to your UTP or STP or coaxial cable here, then transmit it over a serial connection or fiber optic and wireless connections oh, media independent if we are talking about media independent the network layer established a maximum transmission unit as you can see uh, on our previous videos uh, this is also the same as the maximum frame uh, mtu reports uh, the maximum for the mtu is 1500 bytes for uh, minimum it starts with 64 bytes okay fragmentation is when a layer 3 splits ipv4 packet into smaller units so it's fragmenting causes latency so that with there will be a delay ipv6 does not fragment packets oh that's the advantage of ipv6 Example, router goes from Ethernet to slow one with a smaller MTU. So if the capacity of the MTU here is smaller, okay. Uh, it does, uh, the transmission will be uh, causing latency or slow until the recipient receives the packet. IP version 4 packet so a packet header oh, IP version 4 is a primary communication protocol for network layer as well as of course the IP version 6 okay the network header has many purpose one is the ensure our packet is sent in the correct direction okay from source to destination from source computer or host to the server example for the uh, receiver it contains information for network layer processing in the various fields the information in the header is used by all layer 3 devices that handles the packet so what are those uh, fields this is the fields that I'm repairing okay as you can see on our illustration we have the version IP header length Okay, total length, DS, DSCP, ESP, identification plug, and etc. Here's the time to live. Uh, it's a maximum of 255 and will be reduced. Every packet has been up on the next intermediary devices. We have the protocol, the source IP, and destination IP. Okay, the two most important fields are the source and destination. Of course, we are sending the packet. So from sender to receiver. Oh, IP packet, oh, IPB for packet header fields. We have a version. Why? This is 4 bits, 1, 2, 4, 8. Of course, IP version 4, 4. Okay. 
We have the differentiated services under the quality of service. We are repairing here for the video and audio quality, especially for IP phone or the uh, example those using the uh, streaming video or what call that um, video conferencing. Yeah. Header checks some of the. The job of this is to detect corruption in the IP version, uh, version 4 header. Time to leave a layer 3 half count. When it becomes zero, the router will discard the packet. As the, life that there's a, the packet has also life once this uh, TTL becomes zero. Okay. Protocol or next level protocol, either ICMP, TCP, or UDP. And there, this is the transport layer. The source IP and destination IP are the 32 bits address or four octet binary separated with dots. You can check this example, okay? This sample IP version 4 on your internet, okay? Let's look for your the streaming sites. Just copy this. If you want to watch the sample on your Copy paste it on your browser. Okay, look for the videos. Okay, that video is already uploaded on your on the YouTube sites. Okay, you can also watch that using your Cisco NetAcad account. So log on to your account. So the uh, do not rely on our PowerPoint presentation here. Uh, better read online because there's a lot of information about uh, this topic okay. IP version 6 with the limitation of IP version 4 because of IP version 4 address depletion why IP version 4 has only 2 raised to 32 where the, the value of that could be a 4 billion so there is a 4 billion address for IP version 4. And how many people are we on the earth now? So probably we're 15 billion or 10 billion, 15 billion probably or 20 billion. So there's no enough IP version 4 for individual. Uh, you could have your IP phone, I, your, you could have your smartphone, laptop, desktop, you already three have device. Oh. So that's why the IP version 6 was launched. Uh, IP version 6 can cater 340 antisillion. Oh, to be exact, we have a uh, IP version 4 that has a uh, 4 billion IP address. So 4 billion times 4 billion times 4 billion times 4 billion. Okay, you're multiply, multiplying by 4 times. That is 340 antisillion. Okay. Lack of end-to-end -end connectivity to, to make IPv4 survive this long private addressing and not well created. Oh, that's why there is a network address translation in order to uh, meet, mitigate the issues of running out or depletion of IP version 4. Oh, yeah. You're using, probably you're using your laptop, desktop, or smartphone right now connected through internet you are using a private address, but your private address can be routed into a public address. So example, I have here my command prompt. Let's say, oh, no. Uh, command prompt, CMD. Okay. If I type here, uh, IP config. Okay, you will see here, oh, IP config, oh, there you go, my Wi-Fi, I'm 192.168.0.6, this is my um, IP address, whereas my IP address in the internet, let's say, let's talk to Google, what is my IP, okay, all, oh, my IP address is 111. 125.121.187 okay. oh. 
increased network complexity on with network address translation was meant as temporary solution and creates issues on a network as a side effect of manipulating the network headers addressing okay okay ip version 6 overview oh look at here we have a 10 raised to 36 okay we have already and decision here okay increase address space based on 128 bits not 32 bits so that's the ipv6 overcome the limitation of ipa version 4 they are under develop of the engineering internet engineering task force okay improve packet handling eliminates the need of not because everybody now can have their own public address or the ip version 6 address so ip version 4 packet header in the ip version uh, version 6 packet header you can see here previously we showed you the header of the ip version 4 right now they already improve it they remove some okay the plug fragment offset and header checksum Okay, version. Why is this is zero one one zero? Because this is one two four. Two plus four is six. That is IP version six. Okay. Same with that traffic class. So the kiosk, flow label, payload, next header, hub limit, source IP and destination are all almost the same with IP version four, but they have removed some uh, fields that can cause latencies okay ip version 6 packet may also contain extension header or oh, there's a optional for that okay oh, sample again you can look for this on the using your browser probably that will be on the streaming sites also okay let's check for videos Okay, IP version 6 headers, this one, okay? You watch for it on how they use the uh, Wireshark oh, from the captured packet. Okay, let's move on. How a host routes. So, host forwarding decision that can be done by the router, of course, uh, if this computer, two computers, example, they are inquiring on a remote host server, example, you will be using the source IP and the destination IP here. Okay, packet are always created at the source. Uh, each device creates their own routing. As you know, oh, we have already done that before using the ARP. A. Okay, okay. We have the ARP a command here. Oh, ah. there you go. You can see here that uh, you have your uh, next hub address, which will be my router. Okay. Oh, uh, we can also see here the multicast uh, as our previous discussion before. Uh, multicast are associated with 01005E uh, MAC address. And about this, this is the representation of 0022, okay, 0016 in a hexadecimal to prove that. Using calculator example, we have here a 22. As you can see, the hexadecimal value of 22 is 16. This is 22, that is 16, okay? How about 252 here? Let's try clearing up. 252, that is FC. If you look at it, that is 00252, 00 FC, okay? How about pinging? As an example, we want to ping our interface if it is active. Ping. Then my uh, 127.0.0.1 localhost. 
it's replying. So that means that my interface is active. You can also ping your IPv6. That is colon colon one. Okay. Oh, it's also replying. So that is your uh, local host or to test your local host on your individual computer. So as you can see, uh, it is also the same as your uh, frame, but the frame, the, the MAC address of the frame is not referring to the MAC address of remote, but the destination of that will be your router MAC address. That's why you, once you type ARP-A, you cannot see the remote network there. You can only see your local network. Okay. Forwarding decision. So, method of determination, the IPv4 source uses its own IP address and subnet mask as long as with the destination IP address. So, there you go. The same as IPv6 uses the network address and prefix length advertised by the local router. Local traffic is dumped out of the host interface to be handled by intermediary devices, which are the LAN, LAN switch or your router for switch you are referring to layer 2 router for layer 3 remote traffic is forwarded directly to default gateway what is your default gateway if this is your ip address for example 192.168.10.10 your subnet mask is slash 24 that is 255.255.255.0 your gateway will be this ip address so you're uh, exiting address. This is 192.168.10.1. That, that will be the IP address of your router. Remember, you need a gateway address okay? in order for you to communicate with the remote host. So default gateway or a router of a layer 3 switch can be a default gateway. How is that? If you have a switch, by default, the switch is layer 2. So you can buy a switch that uh, has a capability to become a layer 3. So to do that, uh, you go to its interface, example, interface uh, G0 slash 1 of your switch. Then you type no switch port in order for you to uh, make that switch into a layer 3 switch or you can now add the IP address of that uh, port okay oh, host routes to a default route okay host will know the default gateway okay. how do you know this is your uh, computer how it will uh, the host knows that this is your default gateway by using the ARP you can also ping the IP address of your gate, uh, gateway so that uh, the computer will register the uh, MAC address of your known IP address. IPv6 sends the, sends the default gateway through a router solicitation or RS or can could be configured manually. Okay. Next. Uh, a default gateway is static route, which will be the last resort route in a routing table. Oh, you're using the default route. Uh, we will demonstrate that later using the 0 .0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 address. All devices on the LAN will need a default router or default gateway on the router if they intend to send a traffic remotely, of course. If this computer would like to send computer uh, message here it can only direct direct without the use of router but if you are uh, trying to transmit or connect to a remote network here you need a gateway which is the IP address of your router host routing okay if you use the net stat okay, you can see the list of potential interfaces and MAC address Okay. Oh, let's sample it on my. Okay. You can now use net stat. If you type net stat, okay. 
you can see the protocol, foreign address, and state. Now let's control C. Next step slash question mark. What are the other? Okay, you can use A, B, E, F. They have their own description. Let's try A. Okay, A. You can see the TCP, the local address, foreign address, and state. This name. Okay, how about R? Oh, you can see now that this command, okay, net start dash r you can see the routing table oh this is also the same as route print okay if you type route print oh they are also the same okay hey okay. how about that start ah, a okay okay control c oh, let's go back to our discussion Introduction to routing. Oh, we are now on the router. How the router dis decide which uh, port will be sent if they will be receiving a multiple or oh, if the router has a multiple uh, route okay, or ports. We will tackle that later. In this example, router packet forwarding decision. So from source to destination here, you should uh, create a default route configuration on your router in order to forward that packet to the destination because this is already a remote network. Okay. If you type uh, show IP route, you can see this. Uh, we will demonstrate that later on the okay. in order for you to simulate uh, we will simulate that also with this you can check for the router routing table using the show ip route we can see the directly connected remote and the default route uh -huh, let's see we have here the remote it says is a manually and dynamic so if you are using a router here you can configure this with a static route or a dynamic route because we are using the routing protocols so probably you if you're using dynamic route you want to configure it with routing information protocol enhanced interior gateway routing protocol and the open shortest path first so there's the three most common available uh, routing protocol for interior gateway routing okay oh here's the command for creating a uh, uh, a static route for a known uh, network if you declare it a network okay if you know the network of the other uh, computer okay you, you can use that uh, addressing How about this dynamic routing oh, if you're using the ospf rip and eigrp okay the router dynamically learn those network addresses Exam it's just an uh, they are exchanging the uh, network advertisement of network to the other uh, router so video you can watch video using your cisco account again or you can look for a streaming sites for this topic you can use the show IP route here. Okay, let's examine. You have a L and C. L means directly connected local interface where you can see your own IP address. Example of this. Uh, this is router 1. Its directly interface is G00 and G01. You can see here the uh, directly uh, interface address will be 192.168.10.1 so if you look at the here is it L 192.168.10.1 for C directly connected network we are referring to the network address this is your network address 192.168.10.0 that is under G00 okay you look for L okay 
G00 this one. Ah, ah look for C, directly connected C. 192168.10.0. Here you go. Under G01. So the L repairs for the IP address. The C will repair the network address. You can see the static route here. If you declare our previous example, the IP route command, the symbol will be the S asterisk. Oh, in this case, they, it's using default route. Okay. Next. Oh, you can also uh, check for the O, D, and S, D for the enhanced interior gateway routing protocol S for okay uh, static web R for RIP mostly the OSPM O okay quiz what we have learned from this module okay we've learned that the IP version for uh, IP is a connectionless it's also a best effort and media independent IP does not guarantee packet delivery IP Version 4 packet header consists of page containing information about packet. IP version 6 overcome the IP version 4 in terms of number, okay, because of IP version already depleted. It can be, uh, there's only 4 billion for that. Whereas the IP version 6, we have 340 and decillion. A device will determine if the destination itself, another local host and remote host, okay. The default gateway, you need a default gateway to configure on a router because that will be uh, used by your uh, local host computer to communicate to the other remote network. Okay. Routing table contains a list of known network addresses. So you can type the uh, ARP-A or the uh, netstat.r or uh, you can also type the uh, uh, route route print on your command prompt. Okay. The router uses long longest subnet mask or prefix slip. Okay. Uh, prefix match. Uh, routing table has three types of route entries directly connected. You can see that on your show IP route command. The remote networks and default route. Okay, let's move on the ARP. Uh, we've already discussed this ARP previously on last video, okay, on the module 2. Okay, uh, MAC and IP, what are the objectives? So compare the roles of MAC address and IP address. Describe the purpose of address resolution protocol and the describe the operation of IPv6 neighbor discovery. Oh, destination of network. Now, there are two primary address assigned to the device. On a Ethernet LAN, we have a layer 2, which is the MAC address and the logical address for layer 3. Now, we've already discussed this on our frame where you can put your source and destination MAC address. And now we are moving on the layer 3, which is source and destination IP address. Layer 2 address are used to deliver frames, of course, from one NIC to NIC or network interface card. If the destination address is on the same network, destination MAC address will be on the, the destination device, of course. If there, you are using the MAC address, of your destination for as long as you are on the same network. But if you are moving to the uh, remote network, for example, we put a router here and router here, then your uh, target computer is here. If you want to uh, communicate with that, you will be using the uh, destination MAC address, which is your router. Uh, example of this. Uh, destination on remote network. If you are your computers want to communicate to PC2, there is a two router in between. So your destination MAC address will be your router MAC address. Okay, it's already resolved. Uh, uh, you can check on the packet tracer activity. 
so you will be submitting a packet tracer activity for this chapter address resolution protocol okay a device use the ARP to determine the destination MAC address of a device. So if you don't know the, you know the MAC uh, or uh, the IP address of the destination, then once it, uh, you, you use the ping, there will be an ARP. So your uh, MAC, uh, your IP address will be, uh, will come up with a uh, uh, with uh, the, it will be responding its MAC address also using your ARP. Okay, we will demonstrate that later using uh, packet tracer. Okay, ARP provides two functions: resolving IP version port to MAC addresses and maintaining ARP table on IP version port to MAC address mapping. ARP function. So, what are the functions? Okay, to set a frame, a device will search in ARP table for destination IPv4 address and a corresponding MAC address. If you are typing the ARP-A, okay, you will see there the uh, MAC address of your router. So if you want to communicate with the remote network, so the MAC address of your router will be used. In the packet destination IPv4 uh, address is on the network, the device will search our table for the destination, okay? If the destination IPv4 address is on different network, the device will search the ARP table for the IP address, so IPv4 address of the default gateway, which is your router. If the device locates the IPv4 address, its corresponding MAC address is used as destination MAC address in a frame. If there is no ARP table entry is found, then the device sends an ARP request okay um, you watch video so you can see the simulation of how mark uh, our request uh, works so we can also do that on the packet tracer later okay use your net account so that you can watch uh, informative videos on your using your account removing entries from our table so how can we do that so we have a command arp uh, arp dash d let's try it uh, how we will remove uh, let's say i have here an arp dash a so you can see now my uh, my uh, ip address and the mac address if i type arp ARP dash D here. Oh, deletion. If this is ARP dash A, oh, it will be requesting again. How about ARP dash D asterisk? Okay. Ay, oh, this is net start. Where is on my net start? ARP dash D. Or let's try ARP dash A. It's still there. Arp dash D asterisk. It will should be clearing. Arp A. Uh, it's still requesting. I of course, I'm using the software that uh, recording and transmitting over an internet. That's why there should be an uh, main, maintaining of the Arp table. Okay. Uh, we can use that on the uh, packet tracer later that you can see that the ARP uh, table or ARP cache will be cleared if we type that command. Here is the show IP ARP using your router and ARP-A using your computer. Okay, how about this? ARP issues, ARP broadcasting and ARP spoofing. Okay, so there is an intruder here, probably a master of disguise or it can create floods of MAC address. Okay. ARP request and receive process by every device on local area network. Excessive ARP broadcast can cause some reduction in performance. A price, uh, ARP reprise can be spoofed and threat by a threat actor to perform ARP poisoning. Okay. Somebody is using your MAC address. Uh, enterprise level switches include mitigation techniques to protect against ARP. 
So usually, in order to protect your switch here, you need to add a security features like port security, uh, BDBU guard, uh, port pass, and uh, IP DHCP snoop trust here so that you can mitigate those uh, problems. Now you can watch uh, on Google. Okay, uh, that's you watch for Kali then Makov. Yeah. Yes. Watch this on use uh, using your browser. Uh, if you have time, but you can see here how the uh, uh, expert perform a mockup where it plots a MAC address and IP address. Okay. Next. Examining ARP, well, we will do a packet tracer activity then. Copper cabling, what's why there is a copper cabling on the chapter 9? We are discussing the chapter uh, 9 with the IP version 6, so probably that is a mistake. Okay, uh, this video will explain. Uh, watch again using your account. Okay, you watch video. That will explain the process of IP version 4 performance address resolution using the ICMP version 6. Oh, you can use the command uh, show IP neighbor on your privilege command so that you can see the MAC address of your uh, router and your neighbor router. Uh, IP version 6 neighbor discovery protocol provides address resolution protocol, router discovery, redirection services. Okay. ICMP neighbor solicitation and advertisement. Uh, neighbor advertisement messages are used to, for device to so device messaging such as addressing resolution. Uh, address or router resolution, solicitation, and router advertisement are used for messaging between devices and router for router discovery. Okay. ICMP version 6 redirects the message are used by router for a better next hub selection. Okay. Network discovery. Oh, how is the ICMP uh, used for network discovery? IPv6 device use the network discovery to resolve the MAC address for known IPv4, a B6 address. And ICMP version 6 neighbor solicitation messages are sent using the special Ethernet and IPv6 multicast address. Okay. Uh, here's an example of a neighbor solicitation message where they respond to their uh, uh, to the other net, uh, host. What are their IPv6 addresses. Next, oh, you, packet tracer activity again. Oh, we will do that. You will doing that because you will be submitting that as a, our requirement in this module. Well, module nine, practice it quiz. Okay, the, let's discuss this. Oh, what we you have learned from this module? Oh, you learned that. No, under layer 2 physical address or Ethernet MAC address, are we used to deliver the data link frame with the encapsulated IP packet from one link to another link on the same network? During the encapsulation, as you can see, from transport or from application, from using your PDU, your application, uh, the data will be encapsulated to segment, the segment will be encapsulated to packet, packet will be encapsulated again to frame. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, okay? Oh. It's the, if the destination IP address is on the same network, the destination MAC address will be used, of course. If uh, on your local uh, network, since this is already known on your ARP table, okay, if you are trying to communicate to remote network, your computer will be using the destination MAC address of your router. Okay. When destination IP address, either IPv4 or IPv6 is in a remote network, the destination MAC address will be the address of your 
the port gateway, which is your router. Okay. The IPB port device uses the app to determine the uh, destination MAC address for local device with, when it is known its IP. Okay. R provides two basic functions, resolving IPB4 to MAC address and maintaining ang the table in IPB4 to MAC address mapping. That will be the ARP table or ARP cache. Okay? If you know the IP address, then it will resolve and give you the MAC address of your uh, uh, destination for as long as they are on the same network. Okay? For each device, the ARP cache timer removes ARP entries that have not been used for a specific period of time. So there will be a clearing of cache also once you are, uh, uh, do not need or if the computer does not need that information anymore. Okay, it's just replenishing. IP version 6 does not use ARP. It uses the uh, network discovery protocol to resolve MAC address. Okay. The IPv6 device uses the ICMP version 6 neighbor discovery to determine the destination MAC address of a local device when it knows its IPv6. Okay. Oh, let's move on. Oh, basic router configuration. Basic router configuration. What are the objectives of this? Configure initial settings on the iOS Cisco router, we, just like we have configured the switch before. Configure to the active devices on a Cisco iOS router and the device use the default gateway. Okay, you will be using the default gateway. Oh, you already learned this from our previous video on configuring the switch. They're almost the same with router, okay, except for... Uh, switch virtual interface, although the router can have that uh, configuration, but since we are using router, we'll be using the router IP as the gateway. Okay. Another oh, console, oh, you can see here, the transport input SSH and Telnet, but if you are using the packet tracer, uh, this is not uh, available. You need to uh, select only one, okay? But if you're using the actual router, okay, uh, you can type this or you can key in this command. So simultaneously, you can use the SSH or Telnet. But of course, we are na, no longer want to use the Telnet because it is visible for hackers to see the password. That's why we're using the secured shell for security of uh, remotely managing the router or the switch, okay? Configuration is saved in the NVRAM, why? We need to save it from uh, NVRAM, why? This is the running configuration. As you type this command, they are already uh, active or working under RAM, which is the running configuration, okay? But if you restart your router or switch without saving, your configuration, the initial configuration, once you reboot your router or switch, it will read the startup configuration. So you will need to save the configuration from RAM to NVRAM, which is the startup configuration. Okay, that is uh, for saving your uh, configured. Okay, packet tracer, you will be having activity again. So you look for your uh, required packet tracer activity for this chapter. Router interfaces, uh, you can use this. So instead of interface VLAN 1 for the switch interface, we are now repairing for the port address of your router. Interface, then the port address. You can write description and description text here is just like a comment. Then IPB4, then the IP address, subnet pass, then IPB6 address, then IPB6 address, and the prefix length, then the no shutdown. Okay, this is an example of, of how you configure your interface 
under G00. This is your G00. You set is you set the description, the local IP, and the IPv6 address. Then you need to type no shutdown to turn on the interface. Okay. Uh, this, that is the, the same on the Gigabit Ethernet for other port. Okay. Uh, so IP interface grip, you can see there if you have successfully uh, put the IP address on your uh, interface address. So you can also see the status if it is on or off. If people forgot to put the no shutdown, that will be down. Okay, that's why you need to key in the no sh uh, no shutdown to turn on the interface to become up. Well, this is for IP version four, IP version six. Okay. You can see the other verification command. You can use the IP route, IPv6 route, show interface, show IP interface, and show IPv6 interface. So this, the information will be shown on that interfaces. Example, you type show interface, you can see the gigabit Ethernet, it's uh, bandwidth, it's MTU, uh, check for those, uh, what is the output of this command. Hmm. Oh, show IP interface brief for IP version 6 for verification. Oh, you can see the show IP route here, your directly connected network, your uh, static network, and your uh, uh, network address. Okay, we have the symbol C and L. We already discussed that before. Uh, there's no S asterisk here. It's, just, it, it's not configured for the port route. Okay, show interface. Show, oh, this is the example of output under the show IP interface. About show IP interface gigabit, this is the output. You can see here the interface app, the MAC address, the bandwidth. You can see. Is it duplex? Uh, okay, next. This one, the show IP interface of gigabit, the same. You see the IP address and subnet pass or the broadcast. The MTU, as I said before, is 1,500. You see it? Okay. Oh, for IPv6, uh, uh, that will be, it's using the ICMP. MTU is there. Okay. The link local address is here. Okay, a default gateway. What is a default gateway? If you are using the switch virtual interface, you need to type the IP default gateway. Or if you are repairing for your host device like computer, you need to type or key in the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway, which is the IP address of your router. Okay. Default gateway on switch. Media is working on a correct version of the graphic from 10.3. It is wrong on AR and on. Probably you have a packet tracer activity here where there is a bug. Okay, you look for the 10.3. Ah, uh, 10.3. Ah, uh, two packet tracer. Oh, you need to place the IP default gateway then IP address of router using your switch. Oh, packet tracer activity again. Oh. Okay. Now we have a router here. A series of router and switches that you can use on this activity. A Cisco 4000 series router, 2900,000 series router, and Cisco 1900 router. Okay. Uh, there will be an activity. Uh, what we have learned today, uh, how to configure the device, the same as switch we configured before. We configured the privilege, lo, uh, the console, virtual terminal line, password using the telnet and SSH. Uh, use the no shutdown to turn on the interface, so IP interface brief or IPv6 interface brief to view the IP address of the interface. 
show IP route so that you can see the routing connected on your router or show interfaces, show IP interface and show IPv6 interface to view some information on your interface. For an end device to reach the other network default gateway, of course, you need a default gateway or your router IP address for your host computer to communicate with the remote network. <clears throat> a device must have a default gateway have address to configure to remotely manage the switch from another network. Of course, we are referring to the uh, switch virtual interface. Your switch requires also a gateway. If you, uh, you want to ma uh, manage the control, the configuration of a remote switch. To configure a IPv4 default gateway on switch, you, know, you need to type the IP default gateway. Okay. Oh, that's it. So let's have a, a video demonstration of how we, well, from the configuration command we have learned from previous chapter. So let's demonstrate. Example, I want a router here, a router here. So the, let's demonstrate. Uh, I want a place to switch here and a two computer here example so that we want to see the arp of the same device let's place a server here example we have a web server here we want to view that the web page of the server into this computer okay oh, that's it another oh let's name is as router one I want to name this as router2. Okay. Let's name is as uh, switch1. Okay. Hmm. What we have learned. Okay. Okay. From PC to switch. Okay. Straight through. You use the straight through cable from your PC to switch and your router. Let's put it on your gigabit zero one here, gigabit zero, okay. Next, peer-to-peer, -peer, that is router to router, gigabit zero one, gigabit zero one, you cross over, and here, uh, since we are directly connected, we can use the crossover, okay. We, do, uh, we have not put the switch here, example, we want to, uh, directly connected okay next uh, let's say that with we use the separation so that we uh, so that we have a guide okay we just doing a drawing to guide a network okay this is just a guide okay, okay. then I want to place another network here uh -huh. so that I can see the demarcation here. Let's make this a network. Let's say this is 192.168.10.0 slash 24 network with a 2001 colon 00 or colon 0 colon 0. This is 314. That is 1, 2, 3. The network will be 1. Okay. Colon, colon. Slash 64 network. Okay. Let's do that here. We have a network B example. Let's say this is 10, 10, 10, 10, 0 network. Slash 30. So that we can use it at peer to peer. Then 2001 colon zero colon zero let's say this is network two okay so that we have a guide uh, slash 64 okay let's say this is class b network 172 16 10 that zero network slash 24 okay let's say this is 2001 colon zero colon, zero, colon, I want it to become a network three, slash 64. 
Okay. We are just using this as a guide. Once we are uh, putting an IP address. Okay. Oh, let's set an IP address. I want the gateway. Oh, I want this gateway to be uh, that 254. That will be 192.168.10.254. Okay. I want this to be 2000, 2001.0.0.1 colon colon. I want it letter A. Okay. Oh, the same also here. I want it that at 254. I want it to become a colon A. Okay, that's it. Okay, this is for your router. So let's make a peer-to-peer uh, -peer connection here. Let's write, uh, I want this to be that one. Oh, that means 10, 10, 10, that one. And uh, 2001002, colon, colon, I want it as one. Here, we have a dot 2 because that is 10, 10, 10, dot 2, peer to peer. You cannot make it dot 1 because it's already used by the router 1. Then this is, uh, let's say, the next address, 2000, or this is 2 because we already used the 1. Okay. Okay, we've already done. We have written the pattern, so let's do it. If you want to go to your desktop, let's configure the desktop. Under uh, class B, 192.168.10.1, that will be the IP address of this computer. The gateway, as I told you, the IP address of your router. 192.168.10.254. Uh, Okay, that's the IP address of this interface, wherein your IP address is 2001, colon, 0, colon, 0, colon, 1. That is your network here. We need, I want this computer to be 1, slash 64. As I told you, this is your gateway A. Just copy this. Put it here. Okay, Viola. We have now placed the uh, gateway address of PC1. We have done that. Let's move on to PC next PC. Are we ready to copy paste it? Let's paste it here. The letter A. This will be your number two. This is colon one, colon two. 64 okay next this is 192.168.10.2 okay because you, the one is already placed there uh, gateway that is 192.168.10.254 okay so we already done that can we communicate now from pc to pc let's try let's ping the 192.168.10.254 Oh, let's try first the ARP, so that mm, ARP dash A. Can we see the ARP? No entries, okay? Now, let's ping. Ping the 192.168.10.1. Okay, it's now replying. Oh, that means that this computer now can communicate this one. Oh, let's ping another. The uh, IPIB6 address, 0, colon, 0 colon 1, colon, colon 1. Oh, it's now replying. Okay. Oh, we are ready through with that. Oh, next. Uh, normally, we will use the console here from what you have learned previously to configure a switch. You can use the console. Okay. So, to do that, go to terminal, then 1. Okay. okay, let's configure the switch. Okay, enable. Configure terminal. Okay, let's change it 
client name, host name, S1, S1, okay. Let's put an IP address, interface, VLAN 1, IP address, uh, 192.168.10.253 because our gateway is 254. Okay, let's set it as a uh, 253. Next to next is the router. 255.255.255.0. Okay, click no shutdown. Okay, it's already turned on. Let's type exit. Let's place the IP address of your router. IP default gateway. Then the IP address of our router. 254. Okay. Oh, can we ping now? Oh, can I ping now the IP address of from switch to uh, PC? 192.168.10.253. Uh, there's an error. Why? I intentionally did that. Because the ping command is can be used only on privilege mode. So to do the trick, we want that to be run on the global configuration mode. We need to place do. Okay. Do. Okay. It's now uh, pinging or replying. Let's do the other one. Okay. Oh, it's now replying. Oh, let's do show. Let's show the MAC address. So MAC address. Oh, we already learned that uh, the MAC address of the two computer is available. It's already uh, learned from the switch. We can also use the ARP here. Okay. How do we do that? Show IP ARP. Oh, do. Okay, I put that to type the show. Okay, you yeah, can see here the IP address is of a known, uh, known, known IP address. We can catch up their MAC address. Okay, uh, you will learn now how to place a default gateway on this switch. Uh, let's configure now the router uh, instead of. Configuring it uh, from your RS232 to your console. Okay. If I'm using the console terminal, okay. that's what you can see. Okay. But to view it so that we can configure it, you can also use the command line if that's available. But in an actual router, you need a console cable. Okay. Let's do this. Enable. Configure terminal. Host name. Host name. Let's say R1. Well, let's do the the rest of the configuration. Well, you've learned from the basic switch configuration. Let's do it on the router also. Okay. Let's make it a simple password. Enable. Secret. Uh, Cisco and say that will be your privilege password. So what is the impact of that? Oh, it's type end. The impact of that is once we are from uh, user exec, we need to go to uh, privilege. It requires us a password. So the password is Cisco. Enter. There you go. That's the impact of that command. Next line. Console zero. Okay, let's create a password. Uh, Simple as password class. Then login. Oh, exit. That will be your password for console. Oh. Ah. Uh -huh. Next. Uh, let's create banner. Okay. Banner modi. Message of the day, hashtag, hello, admin. Okay. Hello, admin. 
Okay, what's the impact of this? Or let's use the PC that we have connected the console, this one. Okay, terminal. Okay. If you try to end, then exit. Okay. You will now see, press enter. You see now the banner message of the day because we are using the console. So the password will be class. Okay, that's the line console zero. Enable. That is the password of Enable Secret Cisco. The password is Cisco. Okay. So, okay. That's the use of that command. Okay. Exit. Hi. Configure terminal again. Oh, what we have another learn. Oh, we learned the line BTY04. Okay. That is the virtual terminal line. Okay, uh, password, password, okay, is class again, oh, let's say uh, what from your PowerPoint presentation, there's a transport input there, transport input, eh, telnet, okay, then login. What's the impact of that? We still not yet configured the router IP address. That's why we cannot uh, remotely manage the router. So let's first put the IPv4 address and IPv6 address of the router. Okay, exit. Let's command it at line interface G0 slash 0. Where is it? Here, the G00 here. So. Oh, why there's a line? Interface G00. Okay, we are now on the uh, in interface mode. Okay, let's configure this. What's the IP address? 192. IP address 192.168.10.254 with subnet mass of 255, 255, 255.0. Okay. Okay, how about IPv6? IPv6 address, that is 2001, colon, 0, colon, 0, colon, 1, colon, colon, A. Because this is the IPv6 address we place in A. And the prefix length of 64. Oh, you've learned to put a description. Oh, this description is just a comment. Uh, let's say this is linked to network A. Okay. Well, to turn on that interface, you need to place no shutdown. Okay. That, it's already turned on. Next, we need to configure G0 slash 0. G0 1 instead. Why? This is on the other side. Let's input an IP address. IP address that is 10, 10, 10 dot 1 with 255 dot 255.255.252. That is the prefix length slash 30. Okay. Now let's create an IPv6 address. IPv6 address 2001 colon 0 colon 0 colon 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 1 okay this is the network and colon 1 then the prefix length oh. we want to place a description description link to network B example oh. then no shutdown oh, it's already turned on Exit. Let's save the configuration. The copy. Run. Start. Can I save that? No. Because that command is for privilege mode. So let's place do. Okay. See. So the configuration now is saved to the NVRAM. Now, this computer. 
can this computer now able to telnet or remotely control the router telnet let's say 192.168.10.254 yes class okay that's the difference between telnet oh, how about if we don't want to configure the router with telnet okay i don't want that because it's visible to the hackers what i want now is to make it a secure shell so to do that first we need a domain ip domain dash name let's say example cisco dot uh, net just example ip domain cisco dot net next we need to create a local user user admin and a secret password uh, let's say that i want it as a oh, class example okay next since we already created the username and password we can also now create a crypto crypto key so crypto key generate rsa usually we press enter here okay but you can also add now general modulus then the modulus address or oh, bits is 1024 oh, okay ssh now enabled okay to implement ssh line bty0 Four. That means from zero to four, we have five simultaneous user that can be a uh, configure switch. This is line. Okay. Well, we are now inside the line mode, so we need to change the transport. The transport input SSH from Telnet. We will make it as as SSH. Then, since we have created a local user, we need to log in local okay that's it uh, let's test now here could I now telnet or oh, could I now uh, use SSH dash L then our local user admin and the target IP address which is the router Oh, that's it we created a connection oh, Cisco small and uh, much caps lock oh no, no, no. my password is class oh I forgot let's copy the letter class what well, there we go see you have already implemented a secure shell we type enable the password will be your Cisco well, we have uh, managed to uh, enable the host device to manage the configure this switch okay that's good next well, we need to configure the server so that uh, the, the web page here, requesting web page of the client can be uh, propagate. Okay. Well, the address of this is 172.16.10.1 because the router will be 10.254. Okay. That this is the 255. Our gateway is 172.16.10.254. How about the network 2001 colon 0 colon 0 colon 3 till we have on a network 3 1 okay this is 64 let's copy this because our router is a a okay that's for your server okay. let's move on to the router let's type now 
okay. configure terminal uh, oh enable configure terminal okay let's do it uh hosting hostname r2 okay uh, let's bypass the basic router configuration instead we need to put an ip address okay. interface g0 slash 0 that is a network for the server let's add an ip address ip address 172.16.10.254 with 255.255.255.0 okay that could be the ip address gateway for your uh, server let's add the ipv6 address of 2001 colon 0 colon 0 colon colon 3 which is letter a slash 64 for your server or for your router gateway then let's play no shutdown to turn on the interface yes let's now turn on let's try to ping I want to ping the router, uh, the ser server, 172.16.10.1. Oh, I forgot to place the do because we are on the global privilege mode. Oh, that's it. Success. Can I ping now the 2001 colon 0 colon 0 colon 3? colon colon one which is the ipv6 of the server hmm. why it's not working oh success is zero what does one zero zero three colon colon one are we uh, correctly configured this 2001 zero zero three colon colon one slash 64 hmm. ah, let's uh, try to show IPv6 interface brief. are we correctly configured the oh we have a mistake uh, placement of IP address it's 3a you will look at here okay uh, let's say do show run we have placed a incorrect ip address there you go control c we need to remove that interface g0 slash was just one ah, g00 okay g00 to remove that you can use highlight copy okay replace no then paste remove the ipv6 address and we need to place the correct ipv6 address which is zero here colon zero colon three colon colon now oh, that's it Two zero three one four roll. Okay, uh, that's the correct exit. Uh, can I now ping? Uh, yeah, there you go. We have managed the or corrected the IPv6 address of the router. Uh, how about the G zero one interface? G zero slash one. Uh, let's add an IP address that is a peer to peer connection. That two, two by five, two by five, two by five, two by five, two. That's it. IP P6 address 2001 colon zero colon zero. That is network two colon colon two because the other router is one slash 64. Okay, no shutdown. Okay, no shut. Well, that will make the interface 
on. Okay. Now, using this router, can I ping now the router one example? Can I ping R1? No. Or can I ping using do? Oh, it's just no. Control shift six. Okay, to make a uh, equivalent word name to your IP address, we can simply use the IP host. Uh, example R1. I want to place that as ten 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 dot one or our neighbor router. Now, can I ping now R1? Yes. Okay. This computer now can ping this one. How about if you want to ping the address 192.168.10.254? Can I ping it from this interface to this interface? Probably no. Why? We have not yet created a uh, static route. So, to create a static route, we need to place a static routing. So IP route, I want to create a standard static route, not the default route. Example is IP route. Uh, in order for you to uh, move on the network uh, 172.16.10, because this is your network, uh, you need to uh, declare the remote route or the indirect connected route. Okay. Oh, indirectly connected network. So since this is your computer, uh, computer here, you uh, your router directly connected here, here, but not the network here. Okay. 172 in order for you since we are using R1 10.0 your hub address will be 10 10 10 .2. okay in order for this network to communicate to the other network here so we need to declare a static route IP route the network address of this into your next hub address there Okay, or oh, incomplete command. Why? Uh, oh, I forgot to place the subnet mask here. Network address, subnet mask. Then the next hub IP address, that's the correct one. Oh, how about the IPv6? IPv6 route. IPv6 route. Then the IPv6 address 2001 colon 0 colon 0 colon 3 colon colon slash 64 that is the network address oh I forgot again the next hub address 2001 colon 0 colon 0 colon 3 colon colon oh, am I right no that is two, the colon two. Okay. We need to, in order to you to move on this, we need a next half, which is two, colon two. Okay, that's it. Okay. Next. Are we done now? Not yet, because we have not yet configured the IP route of the other router so IP route so let's use now the default route 0 since we are on the remote network we use the default route to propagate the packet let's use the next hub address which is 10 10 10 1 why we are on the router here this is your next hub address 10 10 10 one you can also use the exit interface but i don't advise to use the uh, exit interface what i mean is you type here 
if you question mark, you use the exit interface or the IPv6 address. Example, exit interface is G01 because that is the interface here, G01. But uh, I don't recommend it. Uh, sometimes you know, it makes a uh, problem with the network. I prepared for the next sub address. Okay, to do it on the IPv6, IPv6 route, we use the colon colon slash co. Then your next hub address, which is two colon colon one. Okay, the, we are this router. The next hub router is here. 2001-2002 colon colon 1 because this is the next hub. Okay. Enter. Once you do that, since we are propagating IPv6, we need to use the IPv6 unicast routing. Okay. The same with the router here. We need to place... IPv6 unicast routing. IPv6 unicast routing. Okay. Let's do a ping. Let's ping. If you're using the router one, do ping. Uh, I want to ping the 172 here. Oh, let's use the PC. Why not we use the computer to examine all this uh, packet? Ping, let's ping first the IP here. Okay, 192.168.10.254. That's our router. It's now replying. Control C. Then the next hub. Of ping is 10, 10, 10, 1. That, oh, control C. 10, 1. That is your router also. Now, ping, ping, 10, 10, dash 2. That is the remote router here. X, okay, it's now replying. Now, we want to ping the 172.16.10.254, which is the gateway of this router here. It's now replying. Can we now ping the dot one? It's now replying. The server is now replying. Okay. As you can see, uh, using our browser, uh, is our server services available for HTTP? Yes, it's available. So let's try to browse. Let's try 172.16.10.1. Can we view a page? Yes. We will receive a web page. Okay. About if you use the ARP A, oh, you can only see your the, uh, network um, MAC address, not the MAC address of the server. Oh, let's do the. Uh, oh, if you encountering that, control shift 6. Okay. Uh, about we want to show the ARP. Show IP ARP. Okay, you can now see the ARP of this table. You cannot, uh, you cannot use the show IPv6 ARP. Okay, there's no such thing as show IPv6 ARP. The equivalent of that is the show IPv6 neighbor. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put the do. Do show IPv6 neighbor. Why? Why? There's no neighbor back. Is the CDP stored on? Do show CDP. CDP neighbor. You can see the CDP neighbor R2. Uh, IPv6 not 
yet running under the Unicast. Okay, uh, later. All right, let's do the. That is the static routing. Let's do the dynamic routing. How about dynamic routing? We have here the simplest form, the RIP. Okay. How is it? A router. It's not part of this dis uh, uh, discussion, or it's not part of your exam, but for you to advance. Okay. We are just doing a dynamic routing. Let's make it a version 2. Routing information protocol, then version 2, then declare the network. What are your directly connected networks? So this is your router, this is directly connected network, and your network here. So you're just placing the network address, the 10.0, that's like this. Then network, once again, oh, 10. Network 10, 10, 10, 0. That's it. You, since we are propagating default route, default information originate because we are using the static route. That's it. Exit. Uh, implementing it to the IP version 6. Okay. To do that, interface G0 slash 1. Okay. Uh, let's make a IP B6 IP B6 RIP name of the RIP uh, am I correct oh yes IP B6 RIP then let's say the name is network uh, since we are on the network uh, G01 oh or net that is network B network B then enable okay let's do that on your G00 which is your network A this is your A okay oh, that's it we have now a oh we have now a uh, IP version 6 IP B6 router the, do we have a command RIP there oh, let's uh, try this one RIP a word network A what's the command here uh, no need exit oh, let's do that B Exit. We're just creating the network name. Uh, implement it here. Interface G0 slash 0. That will be for the server. IPv6. IPv6 RIP. The name is network C. Okay. Oh. Enable. Uh, let's do it on the 0, 1 which is the router to router which is network b okay exit ip b6 rip uh, network b and oh what is ipv6 where am I? Hmm. Ay. No, 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 no. What I have type here. Why there's no RIP here? IPv6 question mark. Is there an RIP here? They are not the same router. Oh, no. no. No need. Probably there's no RIP here. Okay.
Ah, router. Okay. Why? Why am I I'm being confused? IPv6 router. RIP. Network. B. I'm confused. But it does need. This command does not need it anymore. Okay. Let's show the show. Uh, what do you call that? IP route. Oh, what shop? Show. Uh, you can now see the uh, connected and the uh, uh, directly connected network here. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have managed to add the default, uh, the RIP, but it's not viewing here. So probably it requires to pass forward so that the network will um, will do a uh, advertisement uh, class enable Cisco. Uh, show IP route. Mm -hmm. It requires re, uh, restarting to copy run start. Oh, why am I using do? We are on the privilege mode. Save, reload. Let's do it here also. Uh, enable uh, copy run to start let's reload okay let's create a password class enable Cisco to I show show IP route. Oh, the R is not uh, about IPv6. IPv6 route. Okay. No R. How about the other one? Enable do show IP route uh, still not displaying oh what we have learned here now is we are using the default route here by a uh, by a, the IP address or next hub 10 10 10 compare it to the other router here show IP route okay we show here here use your static network compared to the default route which is zero 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 okay oh, that's it how about the IPv6 route where's our static route here is your static route and on the other side so IPv6 okay that's it you have seen here by default route okay, okay. Well, that's good so for our okay we are now moving on the reviewer the last part okay before you take your exam, uh, you have a time for to review. So review first the, the source IP and the destination IP address. They are both in the 32 bits, of course. The host uh, destination helps if the, the computer has to send a packet to a destination host in the same LAN. Okay, the packet will be sent directly to the destination host, of course. It 
the par uh, default gateway address is incorrectly configured in a host, of course, the host cannot communicate with the host to other networks because it, you need a required default gateway. If a router receives a packet from one inter interface port and determines the packet needs to be forwarded out of the outer port, the router will create a layer 2 because of the uh, the encapsulation process. On under layer 2, if the packet moves to another net intermediary devices or host devices, the packet will, uh, the destination uh, MAC address will be changed. Okay. Oh, using the 127.0.0.1 and colon colon 1, you can now ping your own uh, interface address. We already demonstrated that before. Okay. Invalid default gateway. Okay. Yeah. The computer with an invalid gateway can access device on the same network but cannot access, of course. You can, if you have an uh, incorrect gateway, but since you, uh, the computer knows the network address, so it, it does not matter uh, to have a default gateway to communicate with the, the same host computer for as long as they follow the, the same network address. Okay. The internet protocol is a connectionless. Okay. Uh, you need to... Uh, Know the description of each protocol field, the version field, differential services, check some pattern, and version field. Network address translation is not needed in IP version 6 because so many address uh, can IPv6 can cater. So, uh, the network address translation is just a uh, uh, temporary solutions for the depletion of the IP version 4. Our router has a multiple routes. The lower metric, the value associated. As you can see, uh, using your internet, okay, uh, the router uh, using the administrative distance. If you type administrative distance on your router, let's say image, okay, this one, example. So directly connected and static. So the lower the administrative distance is the one that the router also a uh, deciding factor where to transfer the packet. Well, before we configure the RIP 120, but because of the static route, so the router is using the static route instead of the uh, the that router next hmm. At. a router accepts packet ac uh, and access its routing table to determine appropriate exit interface okay the path selection if you have a multiple interface where the packet will be forwarded. It's up to the router by checking its admissive distance. Or if they have the same admissive distance, the packet will be sent through those two ports. Okay, especially for if you have a uh, two same metric port. Two, device, uh, two services provided by the OSI, one is to encapsulate PDUs from transport layer and route the packet from destination host. Okay, you learn the default gateway on the managed switch. Okay. Oh, to configure the default gateway on your interface address, so you have already did this. Okay. How to configure the uh, switch virtual interface and the port gateway, as well as for your router. So you place an IP address, no shutdown, IPv4, IPv6 description, and the IP host. Okay. Transport input SSH. 
you can use the SSH or Telnet simultaneously on a actual router or switch. But in the case of packet tracer, it's not available. Okay, you need to select one. Time to leave. Uh, that is the uh, life of the packet. So we have a maximum of 255. As well as the packet move to other router, it will be reduced. Okay. Until it comes up to zero, that's the time the packet will be discarded. IPv6 simplified header. Okay. The flow label. Oh, the command you can use for remote routes. So we have already demonstrated this IP route. IP interface ipv6 interface okay. arp address resolution protocol or oh, use to discover the mac address okay the app here is used for broadcast you can use that using a uh, example a command uh, let's not uh, try that windows r let's run cmd what if I want to message the whole group? Message asterisk hello. If you use this and you use the Wireshark, you will receive a FFFF broadcast network. Okay. Next. Static Mac. You can also add um, as MAC address of a specific uh, IP address. So you can use this on your command prompt. Okay. Using your router, you can also place a static MAC, but on packet tracer, this is not available. Command. Okay. Layer to device, such as switch uses destination MAC address to determine which path, of course. The switch is very intelligent. It creates MAC address table for it to use to the deciding where to uh, submit or transfer those uh, frames. Okay, using the Kali Linux, you've learned that uh, you can flood MAC address or it can be used as a threats on the network okay. um, using the banner mod the okay, message of the day oh, you can configure that oh, to save the configuration copy running config to start up config because this is working on a RAM this is working on the NB RAM or non-volatile RAM okay. otherwise well, what if the startup is uh, is not available? Example, you erase the startup and then you reload. So it will become uh, the router will be on the setup mode. Okay. Configuring the console password, virtual terminal password. You would already learn that and the secret password. Oh. Um, you should not forget to place the command service password as encryption. Okay, to so encrypt your uh, password on your console and virtual terminal. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you have learned from me today. So, see you next time, guys, on our next video and module discussion. Thank you, man. Mabuhay.